Welcome along to another repair video. Today we are looking at a Tron PCB, which you knew from the title of the video, so I don't even know why people keep saying that. Looks all nice and professional, doesn't it? Today we'll be staring at, uh, boy, we've already told you we're going to start. This one uh, is an interesting one, and I'm hoping it's not going to take as long to find. So we boot the board up, and the first thing you notice, don't worry about that, we haven't got the same board connected, and it's in German. No sprites. The thing in the middle is done by sprites. This is one that would take people some time to track down. Fortunately, with the use of the old fluke micro troubleshooter over there, then um, we can uh, poke around and ram a little bit with it. Um, I know that the sprite ram from uh, some technical docs that are on the internet. Uh, let's go to that one. So from this uh, block of info, excuse the people keep walking in and out behind me. I don't have my own office for doing repairs and filming. Uh, it's a shared facility. That I, I know. Hang on, am I even looking at the right boards there? Yeah, that's Tron. Yeah, Tron set. There we go. And that there should be on the uh, primary CPU. There we go, F1000 to F1FF. Now, I know from having messed around a number of times with these boards where all the RAM regions are, um, F1000 to F1FF is the sprites. If I go over here and do a write to F000 and try to put the value 55 in it, it says OK, which it will do because it's written to it. If I try to read that back, it says FF. We've got some stuck bit data bus going to the sprites. Now the thing is that this board will still boot even with that problem because it is literally the CPU's process, um, or ROM test is running across these ROMs only and this RAM here and this RAM up here. It does not test this piece of RAM over here. If it does, well, it only tests as far as it can probably write FF and read it back, which is a bit strange. It should be writing a walking pattern to it. But hey, we'll not tell them off. It was 1983 and they thought they would work for a couple of years and then be dead. All right, let's get into it. We'll pull up the schematic for the um, uh, for the graphics board. I don't normally like working on the graphics board. The interesting thing to tell you here is that uh, and the screen is jumping, by the way, because the fluke's in control at the moment. So it will cause it all sorts of problems. If I run it, let it reboot. Again, forget about that error, because the same board should be sitting here, and it's not. But I can tell you now that the rest of the sprite hardware is probably working 100%, because it's sending the relevant sprite data back down this channel here. And if that gets messed up, you'll get basically a screen full of just... Uh, well, what colour is it? It's usually just whatever colour that the colour generator on the sprites is trying to send down the thing. Yep, so there we are, light cycles with no actual light cycles. Right, let's get the schematic. Let's find where the data bus gets into this board. My guess is going to be a 245 or something like that. Because um, I've seen this board enough to uh, to know what the problem is. Okay, let's see where we are. Here's the start of the data going in and out of the sprite, initial, uh, sprite vector RAM. So we have signals BUD 0 through 7 going into an LS245 chip, which is at N5. Now that's uh, this gentleman here. Now, in order for this to work, it requires four things. It requires power. Uh, this pin here. Let's check we've got power. Yes, we have power. All right, I'll go to the ground pin. Yep, you can see we've definitely got a ground pin. We need the gate signal, the en enable signal to work, which is on pin 19. That's working. And um, for data to come back, uh, to go across, pin 1 has to be high. And for it to come back, it has to be low. So I'm doing a read at the moment over there. I'm getting FF, FF back. And if I look at pin one, I'm kind of floating, which means that basically there's a problem on one of these cables, wherever BURD is, which I'll have to find, or the chip that supplies BURD signal across between the two boards uh, isn't working either. So let's investigate the BURD signal because uh, that's doing nothing, it's floating, which basically means there's nothing going on. Uh, it was, it's neither high nor low. All right, so we're going to look into that next. Okie dokie, we found our BURD signal, which is on J4 of the interconnects, uh, pin 16. So I had a look at pin 16 here, and found that I had a signal at this side, but nothing at this side. And that was the original ribbon cable, so I popped a temporary ribbon cable in, and if I power it up now and hit the and tell the fluke to let it reset, there we go. Ah, sprites are back. Yay! Right, all I need to do now is plug the same, but so 
And that's everything running on there. I've got I've no garbage in the background. We've got German ROMs on it. I, I don't know whether he wants me to reburn them or not. I know he wants me to reburn uh, burn the free play ROM. That's no problem. Um, I'll see. I'll call him up and I'll see if he wants me to supply him with a complete new replacement set of interconnect cables. Um, if he does, brilliant. And if not, uh, well, I don't really sell them in ones because you end up with odd numbers then. Uh, anyway, let's stick his other, let's stick his same board on, see if that works, and then we'll finalise this. Right, well, ignore the static in the background. That is, as I well know, part of the wobble circuit that's used for the um, weird sound system, the, uh, the the delayed sort of wobbling of a stereo pan, is it called? Something like that. Anyway, I have six six sounds exactly as I expect here. If I go to sound test, which there, which is all in German, and I go to um, all test, which is that one, I think. I don't know if you can hear it. Weird how this sound system works. Hmm. Interesting, by the way. If you need, if you need to do one of these, you, you take out the is it that one seven four zero seven? I'm just digging which, which. Ah, that one there, C6. Take out C6, and all that hissing goes away whilst it's on your bench. Put it back in to get the proper stereo effect. Um, anyway, that is now a uh, another fully working set by the look of it. Uh, we'll stick it in the cab and play it, make sh make absolutely damn sure. But uh, I've certainly got inputs for, uh, inputs into it. The only thing I haven't tested. I'll have to let it. Uh, have to let it finish. I'll oh, hit the reset button. It's easier. The only thing I haven't checked is the inputs to it. Which is, I think it's number three, inputs. Yeah, here we go. So the spinner is currently at zero, which it should be. The spinner would connect, uh, memory serves correctly, onto that connect to there. No, sorry, it comes in through pins on here. And I haven't got, um, I need to get my panel off in order to do that. The test harness I have here on the bench will support uh, inputs. Uh, through there you go. There's a power connector and that'll give you power for um, a control panel, which will let me test the, uh, the the spinner. Or I can just go whiz it in the cab, which is probably the fastest way. Right, that's uh, another one. I've actually got four of these on the go at the moment, so another two over there for people. Um, and that's two out of two. Will's working on uh, doing the ribbon cables, another one for me. All right, anyway, that's the end of this video. Uh, got more repair videos definitely coming soon. We've been in a bit of a problem with getting these out quick enough. Um, I've got a whole backlog of, of them. Got a really nice sort of setup now that almost 100% works for me. Still needs a few tweaks and everything. The monitors, for me, it's getting the scope and the monitor in the right position. Anyway, we didn't come to talk about that. We talked about we're talking about trons. All right, anyway, another one, another one fully working. Gotta call the customer and see if he wants uh, the replacement ribbon connectors for it. All right, till the next one. Don't forget if um, if you like what we've got on here, give us an old thumbs up and uh, do hit the old subscribe button to be notified about more content coming soon. See you later.